But I think our responsibility is to teach against, in some ways, our worst instincts, which is to believe that our history is ipso facto, somehow, special, above the great problems of history, above the great tragedies, flying at 10,000 feet, an escalator up. And every time we seem to feel like it is, then something happens. If, if you only got that far with your students, that they come to realize that history is full of these great advances and then great retreats, that all revolutions have counter-revolutions, and that the human imagination and human behavior is capable of great and horrible evil and great and tremendous good, then the details may not matter. If they walk out even knowing that, they're, they're, they're somehow prepared. That's why I, I, I've argued this in the book American Oracle. I've argued it other places. I, I, I think I've been arguing it all my life without knowing it. That a genuine sense of tragedy born of serious engagement with history and serious engagement with literature is what makes real hope possible. A genuine sense of tragedy prepares us. It helps us understand that loss is going to come. Terrible stuff's going to happen. But you might survive it. <laughs>